Okay, so um, the next question is question 11. It says, find the HCF of um, 1, 8, 6, 3, 10, and 4, 3, 4. So you need to divide all these numbers individually. So 2 into 18, it's going to be 9. 2 into 6 will be um, 3. So what can divide again? 3 can go. 3 into 9 is 3. 3 into 3 is 1. Now look at 31, what can divide? Um, I don't think so, 31 is a prime number. So and you know prime numbers, they are numbers that have only two factors, itself and then um, one. So um, 31 into 31 will be one. Then for 310, so we have 310, two can divide 310, two into um, three is one, carry one, two into 11 is five, carry one, two into 10 is going to be five. So what can divide again? Um, five can go, three can go because when you sum the number, it can't be divisible by three. So five into 15 is three, five into five is one. So we got 31 again. So 31 into 31, it's one. So the next one is going to be four, three, four. So two can divide, two into four is two, two into three is one, carry one that's seven can three divide yes how do you know three can divide sum the numbers two plus one okay no three cannot divide because the sum of the number is giving us um, ten so what else can divide um, I don't think five can divide let's try seven yes seven can divide seven into twenty one it's going to be three seven into seven will be one so seven and uh, thirty one into thirty one will be one so now um, 186 is giving us 2 times 3 times 31. 310 is giving us 2 times 5 times 31. Now, 434 is giving us 2 times 7 times 31. Now, the HCF, the HCF is going to be 2. 2 is common. Now, 3 is not common, 5 is not common, but 31 is common. So, our HCF is going to be 2 times 31. And 2 times 31 is going to give us what? 62. So, our final answer is 62. So, I'm going to circle C as our final answer and I will underline it. So, C is the final answer. Sorry, this is 62. So, you don't get it wrong. Okay, so um, going to the next question. Now, it says use the sample to answer question 12 and 13. All we have to do is understand the pattern. Now, look at the numbers. So this is 3, 4, 6. Okay, let's look at it. 3 times 4. 3 times 4 will give us 12. And 12 plus 6 will give us 18. Okay? So now look at this one. 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 12, 22. Okay? 8 times half is 4. 4 plus 3, 7. Now, to solve question 12 okay so it's supposed to be 6 times x okay plus minus 4 will give us 14 so this is going to be 6x plus times minus is going to be minus 4 is equal to 14 therefore 6x will be 14 collecting like times minus 4 will go over to become plus 4 6x is going to be 18 therefore x is going to be 18 divided by 6 which will give us 3 so our answer is 3 so that's d d is the correct answer so we're going to circle d then um, question 13 says this is question 13 um so we use the same pattern too 1 over 4 times let's call here x x plus 5 is equal to 8 Okay, this is going to be um, x over 4 plus 5 is equal to 8. Now, collect like terms, x over 4 is equal to 8 minus 5. Therefore, x over 4 is equal to 8 minus 5 is going to give us 3. Now, at this point, we can cross multiply and say x is equal to 3 times 4, which is going to give us um, 12. So, our final answer is going to be 12. So, A is the correct answer. Okay, so um, question 14. Now, it says a man spends one over four of his income, monthly income, 
on children's school fees and three over five on home affairs what fraction of his income is left now he spends one over four on children's school fees children's school fees and he spent three over five on home affairs what is left now his total income assume his total income is a full fraction which is total income total income will be one so now total money spent total money spent will be one over four plus three over five find okay sorry i need to rewrite it because it's not really in the okay so total money spent is going to be um one over four plus three over five we'll find our lcm which is um 20 20 divided by four is five five times one is five plus 20 into five is for four times three is going to be 12 which will be 17 over 20. now to find fraction left fraction left will be 1 minus 17 over 20 and you know that 1 is what 20 over 20 you can say it's 20 over 20 minus 17 over 20 which will give us what 3 over 20 you can decide to perform the lcm too you still get 3 over 20 so our final answer is e okay Okay, question 15 says um, an article is sold for 315 naira and the profit is 65 naira. Find the percentage profit. Okay, so you need to know to get our percentage profit, profit in percentage is giving us profit over cost price times 100 over 1. Now we're giving our profit, but we're not giving our cost price. So, how do we find our cost price? You need to first of all know that profit is given by um selling price minus cost price so if our profit is um, 65 naira this is going to be our selling price is 315 naira minus cost price therefore we we'll collect like terms bring cost price to the left hand side it's going to be cp positive cp because it's negative here coming over is going to be positive this will be 315 minus 65 now when you do 315 minus 65 5 minus 5 is 0 carry this break this this will be 2 put 1 here 11 minus 6 is going to be 5 then bring down 2 so that will be 250 so our cost price is going to be 250 okay 250 naira so now we can now put it into our percentage which will now be our profit to be 65 divided by 250 times 100 over 1 now to do this um, 0 is going to cancel 0 2 in 10 um, 5 in 10 is going to be 2 um, 5 in 25 is going to give us um, 5 5 here is 1 5 in 65 we're going to have one whole number put 1 in 15 that's 3 so this is going to give us 13 times 2 and that's giving us um, 26 and remember we're looking for percent so it's going to be 26 percent so this is our final answer okay so thank you very much for staying tuned with us now um watch out for the next batch of video for the basic pass questions now if you think what we're doing makes sense please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to um watch out for more videos thank you very much okay question 16 says um if 35 percent is 35 percent discount is given on a trouser which costs three thousand naira how much will a buyer pay for the trouser now um you need to understand the concept of discount discount is actually like a deduction given to the customer to actually reduce the amount he purchases a product so um if he's given 35 percent discount on three thousand that means the amount amount of discount remember it's 35 percent is going to be 35 over 100 times three thousand now double zero cancel out the double zero 35 times 3,000 is going to give us, um, 35 times 3 will give us 105, then you put your 0, okay? So, now, this means this amount was deducted from whatever he paid. So, amount paid 
for trouser will now be 3,000 minus 1,050 Naira. Now, this is 3,000 minus 1,000 is going to give us 2,000. 2,000 minus 50 Naira, it's going to give us um, 1,950. So that's the final answer. So our final answer is C. C is the correct answer. So going over to question 17, um, it says um, express this as um, a fraction in its lowest terms. Now, all you need to do is since there are three decimal places, multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1000. So you're going to get um, 504 divided by 1000. Now, 504 over 1000, reduce it. 2 can divide, 2 into 5, will, 2 into 5 will give you 2, put 1 in 10, will give you 5 and 2, 2 into 1000 will give you 500, 500, that's when 2 divide both sides, then 2 can also go again, 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 5 is 2, remainder 1, 2 into 12 is 6, and 2 into 500 will give us um, 250, now, Yes, 2 can still divide. It's an even number. Now, 2 into 12 will give us um, 6. 2 into um, 6 will give us um, 3 over 2 into 250 is going to be um, 125. So, what can divide again? 3 cannot divide. Um, no, 4 can divide. 5 can divide. 6, 3. 6 can't divide. 7, 8. So, I think this is our final answer. That's um, 63 over 125. In order to be very much sure, you also need to look at the answers. Looking at the answers, you get to see that if here is 60, it doesn't make sense. 25, it doesn't make sense. 5 can't divide one, um, 63. 23, doesn't make sense. 4 cannot divide. 63 is a factor of 4. So you can now know that this is your final answer so that you don't get to make errors. Maybe probably you have another one it could divide. Okay, so um, question 18 says, uh, now um, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please try and do so because we're going to be releasing several videos. So hit the subscribe button. Now it says find the value of 16 times 2 minus 3 plus 14 divided by 7. Now all you need to do is employ your board maths, bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and um, subtraction. So um, this is 16 times 2 minus 3 plus 14 divided by 7. Now there is no um, bracket, there is no of. I think we have um, division, so I'm going to put this in brackets. We have um, multiplication, I'm going to put this in brackets. Then we'll have um, addition, then we'll have subtraction. So let's do them. So 16 times 2 is going to give us... Um, 32 minus 3 plus 14 divided by 7 is going to give us 2. Okay, so now at this point we can now decide to add. So this will be 32 minus 3 plus 2. It's going to give us um, uh, whichever way you want to do it. You can do minus 3 plus 2, that will give us a um, minus 1, which is now 31. Or you can decide to say 32 minus 3. Which is going to give us um, 29 plus 2, which will now give us 31. So our final answer is 31. So all you need to do is apply your board mass rule. Okay? So question um, 19 says um, if Tolu collects a loan, 250000 from a bank, at a rate, um, at a rate 11% interest, how much will she pay as an interest at the end of the year? Now, this is a simple interest question. Now, remember your simple interest formula, it's what PTR, principal times time times rate, all divided by 100. Now, the principal is 250,000. Now, the rate is 11.5%. Now, the question is, what's the time? Now, look through the question again. It says, how much will she pay as interest at the end of the year? So, that means at the end of the year means one year. So, you have to know that. So this is going to be 250,000 times, um, the time is um, 1 times the rate is um, 11 and half, which is going to be 11 and half, all divided by 100. 
So 100 is going to cancel out 100. Now we have um, 2,500 remaining times. 11 and half is the same thing as 23 over 2. 23 over 2. So 2 here, 1 is 1. 2 in 2,500 is going to give us 1, 2, 5, 0. So we have um, 1, 2, 5, 0 times 23. So we have to do our multiplication. So that is going to be um, 1, 2, 5, 0 multiplied by 23. So 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5, it's going to give us... Um, um, 15 that's 5 carry 1 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 7 3 times 1 is 3 2 times 0 is going to give us 0 2 times 5 is 10 0 carry 1 2 times 2 is 4 which is um 5 2 times 1 is 2 so when we sum this up it's going to give us um that's 8 to 8 so this is 28,750 so our final answer our final answer is going to be 28,750. So that's the final answer. And that's um, option B. B is the correct answer. Okay. So the next question says, um, three brothers shared some orange in the ratio 6 is to 4 is to 2. If the brother with the largest share had 150, find the number of oranges. Now, the first thing you do is sum up the total, total ratio. That's the first thing you always do. 6 plus 4 plus 2, which is equal to 12. Now, the brother with the largest share is the one with 6. So, largest share had um, 6 over 12 times the total orange, which we are looking for. The total number of orange we are looking for, which we are going to call X. That means he got 150. So, all we need to do is cancel out. 6 here is 1. 6 into 12 is 2. So we have x over 2 is equal to 150. Now our x, when you cross multiply, is going to be 150 times 2, which is going to give us 300. This means the total number of orange shared was 300. So the correct answer, it's E. E is the correct answer.